The differential diagnosis of hypoxemic respiratory failure is quite long. And when you see a patient and the cause is not obvious, it's helpful to break down the different causes by the mechanisms. So the mechanisms are the five ones we talked about. And you'll see that there's a lot of overlap between the different mechanisms. So for VQ mismatch, some common causes are asthma, atelectasis, COPD, PE, pneumonia, ARDS, pulmonary edema. For diffusion impairment, also ARDS, pulmonary edema, pneumonia, including bacterial, viral, or fungal. And then ILD and lymphangitic tumors. Causes of shunt include atelectasis, ARDS again, pneumonia again, pulmonary edema again, the hepatopulmonary syndrome, pneumothorax, vasodilators in some patients with alveolar infiltrates, including nitrates and calcium channel blockers. For hypoventilation, the causes are a little different. We talked about them, but they include impaired central nervous system function, either from drugs such as opioids or sedatives or a stroke anatomic thoracic defects like kyphoscoliosis and flail chest, and then also just pain if you have pain in the thoracic wall or abdominal pain. And then the last one, which is low partial pressure of inspired oxygen, things that can cause that are either disconnecting someone's inspired gas tubing or connecting it to the wrong gas source during anesthesia or mechanical ventilation, and then high altitude. So this is a very long list, and to help you narrow it down, a couple of things that you can focus on in the history are the onset, which is usually very rapid with something like a PE or a pneumothorax, um, signs and symptoms that would suggest sepsis and the development of ARDS, any reasons for alteration in mental status like recent sedation, surgery, or stroke, and then of course underlying diseases. Some relevant ones would be heart failure, renal failure requiring dialysis, malignancy, or immunosuppression. And likewise, on exam, you can collect a number of important clues, like altered mental status, which you can see with aspiration or opioid overdose, asymmetric breath sounds, which you would see in a pneumothorax or a pleural effusion, wheezing, which can be seen in asthma, COPD, or angioedema, crackles, which you'll hear in cardiogenic pulmonary edema, pneumonia, or ILD, extra cardiac sounds, which might indicate acute mitral regurgitation or heart failure, asymmetric lower extremity edema, which would be a clue for a venous thromboembolism, or paradoxical breathing, which you could see with diaphragmatic weakness or some intra-abdominal process.